I literally talked an entire day. It's kind of a perfect metaphor for my style. Another quick little tutorial vid here. Haptic feedback. What is it? How do you use it? What the hell's it do? Well, in short, haptic feedback is basically the creaking magic voodoo you feel on your thumbs on the trackpad. <laughs> so, but you can also apply that to all the buttons and it simulates rumble. So, okay. First off, the general main way you're going to feel it is on the touchpads. I have this set to high right now, so I'm going to hold this up to the mic. Like that. That creaky... There's actually ASMR videos. You can feel the stuff. It's so creaky. I have to talk less busily and soft. Less, less, less. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's that creaking noise that kind of actually pretty neat it sort of um it lets you feel on the pad kind of like where your thumb is i do not like that at high personally it's all preference though so to change that go i'm gonna go to the mouse pad haptic intensity i kind of i like it on low i do like it on some just so i feel it low is pretty good you're not going to notice it too much yeah, you probably can't even hear this when it's on low. Maybe a little bit. So yeah, I like to have it on low just so it gives me a little bit of feedback. But that's not really why, I make, why I'm making this is because you can put it on all the buttons too. And I've had some people have questions like specifically in the trigger. Like complaining like, oh, why is there haptics on the trigger? I can't take it off. Well, you can. You need to go into each binding. So now from here in the binding screen, I would hit select to show activators. And then I can control haptics right there for every single button and every stage of the button. I can have a different one for a regular press and a hold, like if I had a, a long hold, like whatever you can get pretty complicated with them you can you know and then you'd want to take it to the soft pull same thing hit activator it's on medium you can disable all all of that if you hate haptics completely you think they're stupid you don't like it <laughs> i actually can't show you in here but yeah this is the rumble if you go into the controller settings outside of a game in big picture there is an option that you can disable haptics completely. And then this is the rumble emulation, which I personally do not like, but you can put that on, and just bear in mind that that is dependent on the game. Like this game, a Jalopy, I'm not going to get it, because this is a PC game, it's not really meant to be played with a controller, so it doesn't have rumble in there, but you're going to get that on, you know, on the... Bigger, like the AAA kind of games, they're going to have controller rumble support. I just personally, I don't like the way it feels. But, whatever. That's neither here nor there. And then also... So... Like something I like to do... This isn't really a tweaked out profile yet. But I like to up the dead zone on the D-pad go into activator make them high I would do that you know for all of make for all four of them high haptics so then that gives me oops that's something to show to I would make no click so then I can just get a, a tap it feels really nice you get a nice little thunk and then I can bind something else to the click. So let me see if I can get that. I don't know if you can hear that, but that's the... Just the little thunk you're going to feel on a tap. And then also it's nice... Like in the, uh, the gyro steering tutorial, you know, when you put gyro steering on, if it's a joystick move and you put haptics on, you'll feel a little thunk to let you know that you're at 
full turn, which is very useful. This is perfect. I'm talking so much, I talk right into nighttime. Let's, uh... Okay. Stand, just stand out here and talk to myself. But yeah, there's really not too much to go over on this one. Just a real quick little... Just to show you where the stuff is and that you can go in here. You just hit select. Haptics off, you know. What I like to do if I'm doing a press and hold, the press doesn't have a haptic. The hold, I'll put a high haptic just so I feel a little thunk in my thumb to know that I've activated the hold press. So yeah, I mean, that's haptics, and then in the rumble emulation, which I'm not going over too much, but yeah, there's all these different, all these different styles you can go through. But like I said, I mean, that's only going to work if the game, if the game has rumble support in it. Mainly, I just wanted to show, like, yeah, keep it in the wrong thing. You know, if you're feeling it on the triggers and you don't want to, you need to go into each binding and take it off with select for activator, which really they should probably have over here. Turn the haptics off. But, yeah. Things can be a little convoluted at times. Yeah, you have that, and then you have, you know, put it on for your mouse, and if you hate it, you can disable the whole thing globally outside of a game in big picture mode. So that's just a quick little overview of haptics and rumble. Uh, yeah, that's... doesn't have to be a long video. I got nothing else to say. Alright, that's all I got. I will see you around. A lot of rambling, but... I tried to stay on point. Don't think about nipples. Be professional. Hit the tires! <laughs> oh, I love this game. Yes, you get it. <clears throat> yes, I feel it. The energy vibrating. <laughs> oh, shit.